Alright, I am at Busher State Park. This is Lake Busher at Busher State Park. I'm, uh, I'm well east of the hill country right now. I'm about, well, I'm a little bit east of Bastrop and Smithville. I'll be getting back to the hill country tomorrow. I just wanted to come see this one because I've never been here. I had no reason. Nobody said anything to me. I just came here. The odd thing is they've got this pretty nice little lake here, but you can't go swimming in the lake. Now you can canoe and row and do what you want to do out there, but you can't go swimming at it. Talking to some of these boys over here and a couple of people at campsites around me, it's a pretty good bass fishing lake. I've asked a couple of rangers. They can't tell me why you can't swim in this lake. My neighbors in the campsites speculate that it's agriculture runoff from around here. But, you know, they let you fish out of it. There's a guy over there, his kid caught a four and a half pound largemouth yesterday. Or did he say this morning? But I don't know. That looks like good uh, bass cover right there anyway. So that is the thrill of it. Not a bad looking lake. It's kind of smallish, but here I am. Just here in the uh, downtown area, or close to the downtown area of Smithville. Driving around, taking a look. I've never been here before. Real tidy looking little town. Out here, uh, close near Bastrop, kind of between Bastrop and LaGrange. Uh, a bit east of Austin. I'm going to guess 30, 40 miles east of Austin. What a tidy looking little town. These little houses. Not a little guy, is it? Nice looking house. Let's go take a look at Main Street. drive down Upper Main Street going into downtown Smithville. Just all around here for three or four blocks in any direction. Just older style. Tidy little houses. Well, there's now, fools me, there's one building that doesn't look like anything's going on. Here is the business district. These neat old buildings. What do you know?
pretty neat looking little downtown. Looks like there's absolutely nothing to do after business hours. Pretty tidy looking little place. Is this working? It is. Alright, <clears throat> I came in to Smithville this morning to have breakfast at Dot's Diner, which is a place I just saw out of the corner of my eye. Uh, yesterday evening driving through town and I got in to find out that Dot's Diner is not yet open they are working on it but as of now it's it's not open for business so I just continued on drove around the corner and there's a little place around the corner called Comfort Cafe let me tell you, if you are ever in Smithville, it's a little bit east of Bastrop, a little bit east of wouldn't Bastrop's a little bit east of Austin. If you're ever in Smithville, go to Comfort Cafe. Number one, the food is awesome. It was just so good. Number two, there's a lot of it. I just ordered, <clears throat> without really paying that much attention, just ordered the Texas, I think it was the Texas breakfast special. I, I, I don't even really remember. I wasn't really expecting anything, but, you know, just regular old diner food. Which is generally, in my experience, pretty good food. I like eating at diners. I got three, not two, three fried eggs, two big, fluffy, cooked, just right pancakes, two pieces of sausage, two pieces of bacon, and about six and a half pounds of home fries. There was so much food, I couldn't eat it all, and anybody who knows me knows I'll <clears throat> I'll finish up pancakes. I couldn't eat all the pancakes. I couldn't eat all the home fries. Good food. Just crossed over the Colorado River. I am... It's 9 o'clock in the morning. It may be nappy time for old Ed. <laughs> I am pretty sure Old School is a little ticked off at me for putting it through one of those coin-op high-pressure washes, but I've done quite a few days of bath in a bucket, and every time it felt pretty good to me when I was done, so That's as good as it's going to get in the road, and I can see just chunks of crud all over it. But that's the best they got over in Smithville, and I didn't bring a whole lot of cleaning stuff either. All right, I am leaving Busher Park and headed toward San Marcos, and I found out something this morning while eating breakfast at the Comfort Cafe. I got into a conversation with the people at the table next to me who have been Smithville residents for a long time. One of them, apparently, a long, long time. And I asked why they thought it was that you can't swim at Busher Lake. This guy knows the story. First of all, it has nothing to do with upriver runoff. There is no upriver 
runoff. It's not a river-fed lake. There is a small spring at Busher Lake. A small, well, it's just a bubble of spring. Not a lot of water out of it. Apparently it would take a couple, three years to refill it if it drained. It has been for so long around here a fishing lake that when it became part of the park and all, well actually for a long time you could, but in the not so distant past, the state of Texas decided no swimming in it because they're concerned about any liabilities that might arise from someone getting in that lake and getting themselves cut or tangled up in some old fishing hooks and gear and stuff like that, getting tetanus or whatever other germ they can get from a cut. It makes sense to me. I, I can accept that. He said the lake at its deepest point is no more than about four or five feet. <clears throat> so it's however many acres it is, four or five feet, it's just at its uh, most deep point and is a small spring fed lake. When it rains really hard, it will uh, top, and that's why there's that little cut. That little dam there, a little cut in the dam that was done eons ago just to form the lake to begin with. <clears throat> it all rolls out, rolls on down into the hills and valleys around here. <clears throat> but anyway, that's why people are eating the catfish and bass out of that lake. Perfectly safe. All makes sense to me. Cleared up a cleared up a quandary for me, don't you know? Plus, I got to eat at Comfort Cafe. If you're in Smithville, go there. The food is dynamite. That's it.